warrior enters a land plagued by an evil fate. He is not like ordinary men, for he carries the Dragon Slayer, a mighty blade of retribution whose fury knows no equal. His enemies will know true fear once he starts to swing. Thing shot! <sighs> Great. I've got no luck. These things always happen to me. Rita! Stop your complaining and come help me! <sighs> oh well. Okay, old man. I do owe you. Hey, Job! You help too. After all, you're as strong as two men. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> what the? Oh my god, bandits! <laughs> we can help you fix your wagon, all right. It'll cost you, though. <laughs> hey, now. You're a little cutie, ain't you? You'll fetch a good price in the market. Don't touch me, you bastard! You'll get nothing from me! Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, who is she? Whoever she is, there's something wrong with her. <laughs> yeah, but look at her. She's pretty hot. We can take her with us too for some fun later. <laughs> yeah, you're right, buddy. Hey, you, over here. <laughs> ah! ah, what the... Damn you! You're gonna die for that! I doubt it, punk. <sighs> Who does this guy think he is? Your big sword won't save you, tough guy! Come on! Let's get him, boy! Thank you, brave swordsman. You saved our lives. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Listen, big man, if someone is thanking you, the least you can do is listen. And while you're at it, we need food and some money. Some fine wine will do nicely for me. What the heck is that? A bug? How rude, girly. I'm not a bug, I'm an elf. An elf, damn it! Haven't you ever seen an elf? I'm <laughs> the adorable puck. Mm, no. Oh, I've never seen one. Who are you? My name is Rita. I'm a traveling performer. This mean-looking guy is Gatsu. He's my buddy and carries my house, you could say. Oh! <laughs> and that's our Casca. Are you mercenaries? If so, you're strange ones. Traveling around with a woman in her state? I am sorry. I meant no offense. Now, don't be mad. I'm in the same position as you, after all. Huh? Finally! We got the wagon mended. We're off. Come on! Okay, Pops! Um, uh, I, I mean we, we're going to give a performance in the next town. Why don't you come and watch? There's just one road to town and you can't miss it. Hey, what's keeping you, girl? Coming! And, and, and I mean, um, thanks for saving us. See ya! Okay! <laughs> A performer, eh? I kinda like her. Hey, Casca. Where are you going? Oh. She probably wants to see that show. The town's right over there. Well, why don't you take her? Forget it, Puck. I don't have time to waste on something like that. But even you need to take a break once in a while. All work and no play will make you a grump. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. I want to go, I want to go. We both want to go. Please, please, please. Oh, please, come on, let us go. Let's live a little. Come on, Gatsu. Please. <laughs> sure, whatever. We need to get food anyway. I'm starving. Yeah! Hear that, Casca? Yippee! He said we're going. <laughs> hmm. I only got a glance, but I'm sure that guy in the wagon... Damn monster! 
The Mandra what? Get the hell out of our town! Ah! No! Stop it, you fools! <laughs> what has he ever done to you people? Oh, the hell with you! We're not gonna let a Mandragora zombie go free! Oh my god! What is that thing? I'm glad it's dead. You murderers! You'll pay! Uh, shut up, stupid girl! Damn you! <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong! You didn't have to kill him! I don't feel any mercy for monsters. here for an inspection. Do not touch the body. These huge sword wounds. Was it you? Did you do this? Yeah. I'm Balzac, ruler of this town. Sir, I must thank you. Unfortunately, once people with this disease run amok, they rampage until they die. Disease? It started some years ago in a nearby town. No one has found a cure for it yet. That woman... Is she also possessed by the Mandragora? No. She's got nothing to do with that thing. Perhaps. Still, I perceive that her mind is not sound. Listen, I believe our doctors might be able to help her. What do you mean? We are researching cures for the Mandragora possession. Mandragora? The symptoms appear the same. So perhaps we can help her. Also, we must repay you for your aid. Come to my castle and bring the girl with you. Fine. Show us the way. Excellent. Then it's decided. You shall be guests in my castle. Take care of the other one. Understood, my lord. Shall I pro- 
proceed with the plan. Yes. for them. I want you to come alone. Don't worry, Gatsu. I'll take good care of her. If something happens, come get me. she be? What is it? Nothing. Forget it. This place is... A Mandragoran holding cell. There's always the danger that they may go berserk like that man today, so we keep them quarantined here for our needs. Currently, we are doing research into a cure for this horrible disease. But in order to prevent the people from becoming too panicked, we're keeping this place secret from the villagers. Tell me, do you know anything about... Mandragora possession? Nothing. A few years ago, a strange disease began to spread in a village under my rule. Suddenly, one day the entire village was possessed by a root-like creature. The possessed became crazed. No one knew what caused it. Rumor has it that these bizarre, never-seen-before plants began to pop up here and there throughout my lands. They moved on their own each night taking possession of unsuspecting people. Because of their human-like shape, and because of their strange effect on their host, people called it Mandragora, and were terrified of it. The plants attach and inject a poison that drives people mad, but yet it cures all illness in the host body. Legend has it that the plant has the ability to also cure the infected and bestow the benefits of youth and vigor. The legend is true. Wait, I have heard of it. They say that when it's pulled from the ground, it screams in pain. And... Oh, here's that scream. That's right. They die instantly. But because of its benefit, there is no end to those willing to risk death to get it. 
However, when you pull it from the earth, it dies immediately. To refine serum, you need a mandragora heart. Heart. When a mandragora plant grows into a great tree, it gains a heart. Even when cut out, it does not die, but instead starts to regenerate. The drug made from such a heart would allow us to cure this cursed mandragora possession. Before I began searching for a cure, I tried attacking a village of mandragorans. I wished to prevent further spread of the disease, you see. But the monsters fought back ferociously. I've never seen such carnage. I survived and brought back some of the heart. But just a piece of a mandragora heart Sadly, it wasn't enough. To cure so many people, we need to find a larger heart. Get to the point. What for me? That village is on the edge of my land. It still stands, and the heart is there. I see. I sent my soldiers to the village countless times since then to get the heart of the great tree, but not a single one has returned alive. But we desperately need it for our research. I've seen your abilities, Gatsu. I have a job for you. A job? A proposition. Infiltrate the Mandragora village and take the heart of the Great Tree. As compensation, we will heal your female companion. How does that sound? Foolish. The drug we make from the heart of the Great Tree should be able to heal her illness. Let's help each other, friend. I don't trust you, Balzac. I sense that you're not coming clean with me on this. But I'll do it for my Casca. Excellent. We have an agreement. Casca, stop! You shouldn't be wandering all over. Huh? Let go of me! I didn't do anything! Shut up! You were a fool to come to this town with that monster. Now you will pay! Who is that? Oh no! Casca? Help! Hmm? What? What's going on here? There is a nun in the town, who eats and sleeps with the Mandragorans. She fancies herself their protector. She and I have very different positions. And so far, she has turned down my requests for help. But perhaps she will listen to you. Sorry. I don't get along too well with holy people. Pardon me for interrupting, my lord, but since the item we discussed is near completion, we really don't need his help. The results of our research so far should be enough to succeed. I'm sick of your opinions and time-wasting. I won't wait any longer. But... but, my lord... What's he talking about? <laughs> Sir, the enemy has breached the castle! What the hell? Impossible! How could that be? We seem to have underestimated their strength. Pardon me, I must go attend this emergency. Here he is! This one! What?
my casca. They took her away! These strange men came rushing in and... What? I fought as hard as I could, but there were too many of them. My casca. They went toward the back gate! Hurry this way! How could they get this far? Forgive me, my lord. They will pay for this insult with their lives. Naturally. Now hurry and squash them. Yes, sir. Go! Dan, where did they go? Relax, friend. Huh? Hey, isn't this Rita's dog? What, little guy? What's he saying, Puck? He says he knows where Casca is. Good. Where? He wants us to follow him. Good. Let's go.
Not our enemy. Huh? Yes, sir. I am sorry. I was just told about you a moment ago. Rita! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? You blew it! You think you're so tough with that big hunk of metal hanging on your back? 
but you can't even protect one woman. Some hero. Do not be mad at her, Gatsu. She was almost killed by Volzak's underlings. What? Your companion is inside. I am Dunteth. Come inside for now. We'll talk later. These ruins have been here for ages. Whenever war broke out, the townspeople always escaped here. Now it's become the hideaway for us, the Resistance. Did you see a strange room in Balzac's castle? Where they keep the Mandragorans? A room like a jail. Yes. He said they're researching a cure for Mandragorans. That's a damn lie! He... Balzac. He wants to use the Mandragorans as his secret weapon. Hmm. He says he's forcing them out of the towns and villages because they're dangerous and conducting human experiments in the name of research. But anyone who discovers the truth does not live long. Like this young woman almost found out. Well, why did you try to break into the castle? We were trying to free our captured comrades. We just happened to see your companion and took her along, thinking she was a victim of his human experiments. To keep the Mandragorans a secret, Balzac forbids the townspeople from leaving this town. The same applies to people who come here. Once you enter the town, you can never leave. At least, alive. That's horrible. We have lived on this land since ancient times. This town, being so close to the border, has been occupied by many nations and armies as a strategic base. Each time a new ruler takes over, it is we who suffer. Balzac. Was he like that too? Not at first. His enemies feared him like a monster, and he did not oppress us, his subjects. We thought he was an enlightened and kind ruler. Now, he's different. He's changed ever since the disease appeared. He's turned into a tyrant. Where's Casca? She's in a room below. I will show you the way, friend. My God! What are they?
What the hell are those things? Is Casca up ahead? Yes. She's down below. This way. I made Balzac a promise. I'm going to Mandragora village to get the heart of a great tree. What? Didn't I just tell you he is a ruthless tyrant? So why? I need him. That thug knows something. If he has a drug that can cure her, I need to take the chance. A cure? In his castle. He runs a lab to create a cure. I need the drug that he's making. But you have no proof he's telling the truth. Dunteth! If it is true, we might be able to save our boy. We need Balzac's research if we are going to bring him back to us, just as he says. Even if he is a devil, we need him. <sighs> that may well be true. But I just can't accept it. Damn it! How can we rely on one who oppresses us? <gasps> this town of ours, its bricks are the bones of our ancestors. Its mortar, their blood and brains. Just think of that. Oh, that's just plain silly. What? To let your fate be decided by all this talk of ancestors' blood. To let the past tie you down. The present belongs to the living, not the dead. Are you going to trade this child's future for the past? Rita, that's just the way it is. People are bound by the spilled blood of ancestors. That's wrong. People are individuals. They can be free, not bound by anything. They can go wherever the wind takes them. You... You have no family, do you? No. Rita, you're still young. There will come a time when you'll shed blood for your own cause. I just hope that it's something worthy of that blood. Huh. Rita? Puck, I've always depended only on myself. No one else using my own strength or taming me. No one to love. Then job. That Mandragoran guy was... <laughs> he followed me because I fed him. I was surprised at first. But he was really childlike. Always smiling, laughing, even though he didn't understand. I can't believe that now he's gone. Forgive me, Rita. Oh, wow, he apologized. I can't believe it. Oh. No, it wasn't your fault. If you'd done nothing, he would have hurt that girl. It's me who should apologize. What I said earlier was horrible. Found by spilled blood, huh? You might be right about that, Rita. That's why... why you have to find something worth shedding blood for. A cause. Or even a person. Getsu. Done talking, folks. I have made my decision. I am going with you to the Great Tree to get its heart. Then we will negotiate with Balzac. We will tell him if he wants the heart. He has to give us the medicine. Do as you like. I will take your companion to where she will be safe. Wait! I don't trust you completely yet. 
Besides, I'm the only one that can take care of her. The only one that can protect her. But... Listen here, worried about creatures attacking her? If that's it, you have no worries, big man. Huh? Elves live in this spring. I'm certain of it. It's the source of the town's water. Our ancestors built a shrine here. They prayed to the spirits. Well, I can't vouch for the rest of the rooms, but this one's quite safe. No evil spirits will come here. Uh, and anyway, while you're gone, Mirkaska, I mean... There's nothing to worry about. I'll... I'll look after her. I see. Okay. Thanks for this. Keep this trouble going, Whoa! you too! Hey! Is that how you treat your best buddy? Mm -hmm. I'm off. <laughs> it's just like... having my job back. You seem so happy all the time. It's amazing. What? Ah! Oh no! The research turned out splendidly. Now with the strength of these Mandragoran fighters, we don't need to bother with the heart of the great tree. Well, I'll be. It's the young lady from before. We meet again, little lady. I must ask you to come with us, now! Oh, 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 oh. 
Are you sure we can find a great tree in this village? We must. Ah! The ironic thing is these Mandragora zombies are more lively than we are. It's strange. So, it's all the fault of these things, huh? Stop! Huh? What is it? Must... Forgive me. Tell my wife and son... Damn it! Mandragora, you uprooted to the earth. What? You You must be the nun who looks after them. I am Ariza. Why such senseless killing? These children have done nothing. They are harmless as long as you don't attack them. And yet, you... Uh, but I... <sighs> Come on! What happened? After you left, Balzac's troops came down. They attacked the hideout, and they took Casca. He said, if you want her back, you have to bring the heart! Bastard! Okay, sister. You heard her. Where's the tree? <sighs> hey! There used to be a boy named Nico in this village. <laughs> Thank you.
He was simple-minded, and he sometimes disturbed the crops. But he was a good boy at heart, gentle. He would never hurt another person. Even when the villagers teased him, threw stones at him, or beat him with sticks, Nico was just happy for the gift of life. He marveled at a sunny sky, and no matter what his misfortune, he was always smiling. But... One winter day, Nico was on the brink of death from hunger. The crops had failed that year. Not a single person would give him any food. With the last of his strength, Nico managed to crawl to the church. But I didn't even notice him. The sound of the door opening was drowned out by the New Year's bell. When I found him, he was... He never did a thing wrong. He was just a little different from the others. Why was he treated so cruelly, so callously? Why did Nico have to die? He was the purest, the sweetest boy you could ever hope to meet. So are all these Mandragorans here, right? But they've taken enough lives already. Just back there, they wiped out my entire party. That's because you unwittingly broke a taboo. The Mandragorans will never attack anyone unless you pull up one of their saplings or try to harm them. But most people hound them, call them monsters, push them out. And Balzac, he says it's for the town's sake. He hunts them, captures them, takes their lives as though they were insects. I think people who can only show their fear and ambition through violence are the hardest souls to save. They see everything as a threat. Bear this village. I beg you, leave us alone. We are happy with the way things are. But if we don't do anything, the Mandragorans will just keep spreading. I don't think you'll find anyone who wants to become one. Really? But I want to. Listen, the people in that town, or the people in this village, let me ask you, who do you think is happier? Huh? Pride, sadness, anger, ambition, or perhaps love and affection. Who is happier? Those who suffer with those same emotions that cause us to repeat our blood-soaked history? Or those who, though odd-looking, are free from that? Smiling and laughing like children. Simple, true emotions. Well... What do you think? I... I... <laughs> hey. If they look different, and their hearts are different, then they are not human. <sighs> it's true. Humans are greedy and vicious. So then you agree with me? No, sorry. You see, I'm a human. I don't mind spilling blood to get what I want. Sorry if that shocks you and ruins your plans, but I'm taking the heart of the Great Tree with me. Just quietly hand it over. Don't try anything, sister. Guts? Oh? to kidnap Casca, but you forgot about little old me! <laughs> Puck to the rescue! That old guy, I knew we could never trust him. Uh, oh. <laughs> I told you!
you I'm not a toy. Well, anyway, we'd better get out of here soon. If those guards find me in here, we'll both be killed. Huh? Balzac's wife, right? Then this must be his daughter. She looks just like her mother. But how could such a scary dad have such a sweet daughter? I guess the apple fell far from that tree. Or she was just plain lucky. Oh no! They're here! What do we do? Oh! Oh! Look! A hidden door! Casca! We're going now! Come on! Come on! Oh. <laughs> huh? What's this room? <gasps> what the heck? How creepy is that? Hey! Hang on! Oh, Casca, don't touch!
What are you doing there? You! Leave that heart alone! It's mine! We have to get out of here! Quick! Get a net to safety! Hurry!
you found us. Uh, yeah. Uh, now I see. I didn't notice because there were so many around. You're a mandragore too! You just don't understand. We just want to live in peace! We just want to live in peace! We just want to live in peace! We just want to live in peace. 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 Jeez.